Okay, welcome back to the second video in the uh, beginners tutorials and this is the product search page. So I want to start by drawing your attention to the updates uh, panel over here. So I'm going to try and keep this as updated as often as possible and uh, I shall also try and clean out some of this older stuff here as well because it's getting a little long. But normally if something's happening with the site something's just been added to the site or something of interest happens to the site it's either mentioned in the Facebook group or it's also mentioned here but one thing that is important to know is at the very top of this I'm going to start putting a series of links that are most useful and uh, I'm going to leave them there so at the top here you've got this list of sourcing domains so if I click on that it's going to take me to this page here and uh, this page is going to show you a list of every single domain that we currently have. And you really only need to pay attention to columns A and B. Columns C and D uh, are more reference for the advanced users. And, uh, but columns A and B will show you which sites currently we have in the United States uh, that work for the United Kingdom and work for Canada and also which of these search and match by UPC which is a, uh, a more accurate type of matching which match by title and uh, we're trying to also drill into that a little more and put which are very good matches still with title and which are poor matches with title etc so that you can try and gauge what you're going to expect from a search in realms of accuracy so if I want to continue with this page here, uh, we will initiate a search by selecting one of these domains from the drop down panel. So why don't we pick a UPC site here? Uh, let's pick something like, I don't know, Home Depot, for instance. So I was asked recently by one of the members, um, how do I know which URLs to choose? So we've put a couple of examples over here uh, under category example and you can actually also see here that it says on the page here search style is universal product code so that information is also here uh, and if you just click on one of these it'll populate, uh, populate the field here but I'm going to go over to, I'm going to copy that and paste that into Home Depot so that we can maybe find a category that suits the kind of search that we're hoping to do today. So uh, let me just choose something um, tools and hardware. What have we got in here? Hand tools. Hand tools looks good. Now, uh, this is not a page that we would search in this instance because the kind of page that we were looking for if you go to this page again and have a look is a page with products on it so you can see uh, we've got a page of our product 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 and if we go to this page here it looks like we are not there yet so let's go a little further uh, Let's go to some slotted screwdrivers, for instance. And I can see there's 219 slotted screwdrivers. So this is the URL that we're looking for. We've got a page of products. Now, there's a lot of very studious members, or a couple of very studious members who are creating lists of some of these sites. Uh, they're for sale but uh, it'll save you going through and finding each category one by one. So uh, those will become available and eventually those will be listed here to buy on the side just to save you some work um, in choosing which categories. But otherwise you can just pop on in here and grab the, uh, grab the correct URL that you need. So I'm gonna do from start page one to start page uh, to end page one, which is just one page. But you might also want to do five pages and go from page one to page five. Now, before I continue with this search, I want to show you a variation on this, just because this is a particularly uh, 
important part of this page. Um, in fact, we might even say filter results for the next video. So if I wanted to choose target, for instance, you'll notice here that it's not URLs, it's these cat category numbers. So it's important to have a look at the image down here. So we've got an image here which actually says, in the URL, it says N dash, and then, and then a series of letters. It's normally just five digits, but uh, if you've drilled into it a little bit with filters, you can get a, a, longer, uh, a longer digit here. So you want the code after the N hyphen, in this case, uh, 5XT9IZ56E2U, and you want to put that in here. So I'm going to um, show you this on target now. So if I go to target, and we choose a category such as, uh, we'll go, oh, we can choose baby, and we can choose, say, gear and activity, and some baby toys, uh, shop all baby toys. Now, now, because I looked at this image here and it said, in the URL, use this code, and you want the code after the N hyphen, I know that what I need is this N dash 54 WLM. Now, target is a bit different. You do not need um, the entire URL, it's a category number. So you can find these category numbers uh, sometimes in root categories, such as just gear and activity, uh, which don't have the products on the page. I'll go back one more just to say baby. Now see, see here, it just says baby, but there's no products on the page. Oh, there is actually, they've changed their format. It's gonna call me a liar. So, all right. Sometimes you'll see the uh, end of page ends just down here, but with target, that's okay. As long as you've got this N dash number, you can choose that category here. So in this case, all right, I'll choose this five dash, uh, N dash five XTLY. And that can be our target scan. Page one to page one, or page one to page 10. Now, before I finish up this video, you might say, well, what, what does page 10 mean? How many products are there? So have a look on baby and you'll see that there are 9,437 products. So it says here in the sidebar, when deciding how many pages to scan, on target.com there are 60 products per page. So if you wanted to do all of those products, uh, 9,000, I'll get the calculator out, I'm pretty sure it's about 160, but we've got 9,437, there's 60 products per page. So 157 pages of products there. So if you wanted to do all of those pages, you might do 157. So keep an eye out for this multiplier on the side here, which tells you how many products uh, will be searched per page that you put in here, because it does change per domain. If I go back to Home Depot, for example, where we, where we started, you notice there are 24 products per page. So if we have a look at our slotted screwdrivers, there's 219 products there. Um, 10 pages will pretty much cover that. It doesn't matter if you go over with the pages, um, but uh, if you wanted to get it close enough, then work on that multiplier. So um, probably even nine pages would do it. Was it 200 and 219? probably do need all 10. 219 divided by 24. So nine, so you need the 10 pages there to get every single one of those screwdrivers. So um, keep that in mind when initiating your search. In the next video, we will go onto this Home Depot scan and use some filters.